With the ninth selection of the 2000 first year player draft, the Chicago Cubs select Javier Baez, a shortstop from Arlington Country Day School, Jacksonville, Florida. The San Diego Padres have the next pick, and they're now on the clock. Harold, you called it. Javier Baez, an intriguing high school bat, committed to Jacksonville University. His junior year really put him on the map. He hit 463 with 13 homers and nine stolen bases. Now, his skill set has his high school coach, Ron Dickerson, comparing him to Hanley Ramirez. Well, you know what? I, I talked with a few people today. They were talking about Gary Sheffield-type comparisons with the bat as well. But when a club gets on a player and they start talking about him repeatedly and you fall in love with him, it's pretty easy to say they're going to take him. And that's what happened, I think, here with Baez. Well, and you had this situation where the Indians, who saw every one of his high school games this year, were trying to make up that decision, Lindor versus Baez. I think, again, when, the, when Lindor went, they took the defensive player. This is the offensive shortstop. And, and uh, he does have the skill set to stay at shortstop. A lot of people talk about with the bat, and he's going to be a little bit bigger. He might move to third base. But this kid's an athletic kid, and he's got the one thing that you look for in today's game, and then he gets the ball out of the ball. Well, the biggest thing they're wondering is Chicago right now. Hold it. we got Sterling Castro, who's yeah. 21 years old, the youngest player in the big leagues. How does that apply? He might move over to third base. I mean, yeah. when you look at it. But I think they'll send him out and let him play shortstop. But he's enough of an athlete he can move to third base. It's not that tough a transition. And there were several teams that were looking at him with the idea of drafting him and making him a catcher because he's got such a great arm. And he's caught also in his high school career. So Javier Baez goes number nine overall to the Cubs. And he grounded out in the fourth against Morales. Struck out in the sixth. Also against Morales. Also got Morales twice. Yeah. High and deep. Right center field. Javier Baez with a home run. His first major league hit into the bullpen. Whoa, baby! That ball exploded off of his bat. First major league home run, maybe a game winner. Souvenir time. <laughs> I think I tweeted yesterday. He might have one of those 0 for fours with three strikeouts and then hit one 900 mm -hmm. feet or something that's, like that. Yeah, you know, but that—that's that's who he is. That's who he is. Yeah. In the second inning of this one, now it's Baez in the right field, way oh. back. Javier Baez, a three-run home run. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Abel got his three-run home run. <laughs> I mean, first pitch fastball, look out. Every Cubs fan knows that Javier Baez has as much power as any player on this roster. And Baez has his postseason moment right here. Bam! Three run opposite field home run. That ball is on the corner. That he, wasn't a bad pitch. No, and he had just got some extension. That ball's way out of here. Bottom of the 13th, Javier Baez, two and two. Deep left center, game over. Cubs win, Cubs win. Baez does it, 4-3 the final. There were plenty of opportunities for these Cubs hitters to do something heroic this afternoon, and Baez delivers. Somebody earlier said, I think a home run's going to win this game. <laughs> In Oklahoma, it's a quarterback. And that ball is caught, I believe. It is. 
I hope is that Baez. That is I Baez. Hope he's all right. He, he, he's going to do it just fine there. See, makes another spectacular play. He made a play here last night. Wow. That was just mind-boggling. He didn't get it out on that particular play. This time, gives up the body. What a play. Derek Jeter would be proud. And even Bill Murray saying, let's go. A long-suffering Cub fan. The quick pitch. And Baez sends it deep to left. Pagan is there at the wall, and it's in the basket. Here's the 3-2. Baez drives one in the air. Deep left field. Back goes Pagan. Back near the wall. Pagan at the wall. That ball is going for a home run. Javier Baez with a home run to left. Cubs lead one to nothing. He just had enough to sneak it up over the basket for a home run. If there's no basket, Pagan might catch that ball. Wrigley Field is shaking right now. Y esa pelota se sale con sabor a Puerto Rico, señores. 1-0 ganando los Cubs en este juego. Trying to keep that go-ahead run at bay. Baez singles back up the middle. Hayward's being waved around. And Chicago has taken a 6-5 lead. I, I am surprised at the pitch selection. I said it before, so it isn't like I'm saying it afterwards. This is power against power. What you just saw right there is why that young man's hands are so good. Tried to drop, drop that piece of gum and couldn't do it. And is Baez coming to the plate. He is safe. 3-0. He got aggressive and then said, well, I'm done. And the only way I can make something happen is to not stop whatsoever. That aggression got a little lucky. And a run for the Cubs. It's a steal of home for Javier Baez, who's doing everything right. 26 years old, went to Dartmouth. Here's a ground ball up the middle. A tag and a double play. Mr. Baez. Well, there's the aggressive pitch down. Baez got so much talent, so much agility. Got him either way. You have performed incredibly, and now what does it feel like tonight to stand up here and hold that trophy? Amazing, amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. <laughs> really excited, man, really excited to be here, to be winning, and to win. Four more games, man. We're ready. Here's a fly ball into right center. Back at the wall, off the bat of Baez. Four to one. That ball was a rocket out to right center. First RBI of the World Series. It comes in game seven for Baez, who's made it a four to one lead here in the fifth. Now Bryce Harper. Oh, he caught it. Baez just robbed Bryce Harper. How did he make that catch? That's just hobby being hobby. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. This man looks stunned. And that ends the inning. A thing of beauty. Playing the pull shift for Adam Lynn. Pop down the left field line. Jay and Baez are over there. The slide, the catch. What a catch by Baez. Even he's amazed at that one. Just an amazing play. And I got to believe in even some of the national fans are responding. What a play. Two thirds of the world is covered by water, the other third by Javier Baez. As Abias cranks one deep the other way, way back, off the wall. 
Hayward will come around third and score. Baez to third. Gary Jones is going to send him. Here's the throw. Save. It's a home run. And inside the park, two run homer for Javier Baez. Why was that fun to watch? Moved in. Baez halfway down the line. He's going to take it up. He's going to score. Oh, I love it. Man, does he think the game? Uh, he, you know, he thought the game. I, I would not be surprised if that entire play wasn't talked about and planned out in advance with Baez and how creative he is there. Uh, the, the Cubs love the safety squeeze. They've been doing it a lot all year. Yeah, he he pulls the bat back, does yep. Quintana. This is just Javi stealing home. Drove in 75. Hits that one in the air to left. He's watching it. It's got some hook on it. It is up and it is gone. Javi Baez with a solo shot. Two to nothing, Chicago. Baez in the air to left field, got some carry. Ethier's looking up, and this one is gone. Another home run for Javier Baez. And a drive to deep left. Way back and gone. Number one on the year for Javi Baez. First pitch fastball, pretty much center cut. And he unloaded. Deep drive to left center off the bat of Baez. Back to the wall. Home run. His second of the day. Baez hit a high fastball. And he lines one into the seats. This is loaded and upsides the guy who had two home runs yesterday. There's a drive. Well hit. Out of here. Three run homer. Cubs lead four to three. His third home run in two games at Wrigley. Oh my. A drive to left. He's got four in two days. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He's right. Bias might just be that guy to deep central and gone. Javi has been swinging for this all night long, and he finally connects. Looked like a little cement mixer right there. 85 miles an hour did not do much, and Baez knew exactly what to do with it. Towering, and it had the sound. This is Baez's ball. He's got it as he tumbles into the stands. What a play. I hope he's all right. That area is very unforgiving in terms of the bricks. Yeah, the height of that wall makes it a very difficult play and headlong into the stands. Takes this ball. He catches it right in front of the brick. The brick wall that's about three feet high catches it and then just upends himself and ends up in the first row of seats with his feet pointing straight up in the air. Third, I had him easily. I threw it down the left field line. Mm. There goes Baez. Throw to the plate. Save it again. El Mago does it again. Quite possibly the home. most uh, magical trip around the bases we've seen yet. Again, this is, this is high risk with nobody out but he makes it happen they get the throw to first base he goes to that back corner does that little swim move that we we have seen him do so often and great work by Jim Reynolds a home plate umpire rotating over to get into good position to see the non tag now Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this play with nobody out. I think it's a two out play, maybe a one out play, depending on where you are in the batting order. Here's a base hit on the first pitch. 
And Tom Verducci just became Javier Baez's good luck charm. What a year that kid's having. 72 RBIs. Most by a Cub second baseman at the All-Star break in their history. A salute and a knock. Well, that's what I was saying. Starting pitcher's dilemma. You got a good fastball. Foot wall in left field and cuts into that Rangers lead. It's two to one. There'll be some frustration on the part of Mike Miner here. He got himself into a great 0 2 count. Look at the curveball. Great look at the grip. He's trying to go out of the zone. He needed to go a little bit further. You see Jeff Mathis starting to go to the ground. This ball was low, but not low enough for a free swinger like Javi Baez. He's got tremendous power. We showed you the numbers from a year ago, but he goes out of the zone pretty well. When you're going to bury a pitch against him, you've got to get it all the way in the dirt. And unfortunately for Miner, a wasted opportunity on that 0-2 count. Trying to put the finishing touches on this inning and the first pitch to Baez hammered out there to right field and it is gone. Javi Baez jumps on the first pitch for a three run homer. Cubs have scored half a dozen now in the fifth inning. And open up the big lead. I mentioned what a aggressive and dangerous hitter Javi Baez can be. And not only this is impressive showing the power but opposite field on the first pitch look at that swing right there Almost like he's looking for something middle away look how deep that ball got on him but he's so strong he squirted it up so well and exactly how Chris Woodward thought his first pitching change would go now Baez the ninth cup batter of the inning he just reached out basically threw his bat at it and it's an RBI hit Oh my. <laughs> it's five to nothing. Oh my. El Mago with the magic wand. Says, I can't explain it. <laughs> it's a little uh, a little Vlad Guerrero like here. Baez literally threw his bat at that ball. The ball jumped in the air and landed beyond the shortstop Newman who battled a tough son and didn't really see the ball right away. As actually, I think the ball bounces and Javi hits it. Price of gold's going up for Javi. Look at that one-handed into left field. Baez didn't have his hand on the bat when that thing hit the ball. I think the ball bounced first. Not only did he do it with one hand, I think the wow. ball bounced like, in the dirt. Like cricket. It looked like Newman might have even had a little bit of a Bob, he didn't he didn't have that in his hand. He made contact with the ball. Literally threw his bat at the ball. The bat was not in his hand. Little curveball that bounced. And that's how he got an RBI single. It was like he's playing cricket. Yeah. And then uh, he hit it on the bounce. Yeah. I think he'd go shoulder high heater here or try to bounce a breaking ball. Visibility cloak needed this time. Not 
trying to go down and away with a breaking ball. He tried to snap off his best curveball, overthrew it, muscled up, left it up, and gone. Lean back and enjoy. That'll be the last pitch thrown by Bueller tonight. Pitching change in the sixth, tied at three. But he does, and he got under it. Long run, Martinez. Wong. Foul. Foul ball as oh. Wong got a glove on it, but apparently in foul territory. So that is a foul ball, at least for now. Martinez wasn't going to get there. Wong becomes the best option. Rackley's right on it. Mm. He's got a real good look at it right down the line. This had it been fair. And Oof, man, it's I don't so know close. how you're going to yeah, overturn it, I don't, I don't but Joe wants him to look at it. Then why not? You yeah, you absolutely. Have to. Yeah. In the eighth inning. I mean, if that's fair, he makes it at least a third base. Well, we can hope. Well, it is a foul. A drive the other way. It's going to go. Cubs lead. Six to five. Number 11 for Javi. You don't always get what you ask for, but sometimes you get what you need. Again, going the other way, and man, that ball is way up above the belt. We're supposed to pop that one up. Not Javi. Here he comes. Line and it'll get in. Baez long striding toward third. He'll make it. Good throw by Anderson, but Baez make it all the way to third base. Obviously, he can't afford to make third out at third base. The pitch to Baez. Line! Cubs win! It only took Almago one pitch tonight. 3 2 the final. And after a night of frustration with a lot of base runners left on, especially early, they rally here. In the ninth, a feel good W. And you said it at the beginning of the inning, they had the right guys up Bryant, Rizzo, and on down the line, and then finally Baez off the bench with the game winner. So the Cubs have evened up the four game series, one apiece. And they've been celebrating a lot here at home. Get him late and hang on tight. After two quality pitches, he makes a mistake, and Javi makes him pay, and pay dearly. Well, it's been a tough go for Baez of late. With his hanging slider crushed. And Toyota home run replay, Cubs lead. One big swing in the back from Baez. They want a curtain call. Javier Baez will bat left handed for the first time. We've told the story before. He's left handed. He does everything lefty except play baseball. Until now. <laughs> Fly ball to center. 
It's 12-5 Cubs as we go to the bottom of the ninth. What's this? Slow pitch softball. Didn't get cheated. See Stalin setting up off the corner, and that's gonna do it. Javi Baez with a base hit. Bodie scores. Cubs win. Cubs win 2-1 the final in 11. And the crowd goes wild, and the Cubs will come out for a socially distanced celebration in the middle of the diamond. <laughs> Good stuff, fellas. It's a series sweep. And the Cubs are off to a sizzling seven and two start. Fight, scratch, claw, compete. Cubs win. Cubs win. On an 0 2. And time and time again, the two strike breaking ball in the zone is a huge mistake to Javi. The slider way off the plate, maybe a chase. You leave it on the plate, you're asking for trouble, and he gave them trouble. And a game winner, the Cubs back to 10 games above 500, matching their high water mark. Cool under pressure. You know, in a vacuum, not a horrible pitch, but 0 2 in this situation. Probably too close. It was reachable. He got him to swing those two high fastballs and did him a favor right there. You're right, JD. You throw it in the zone to him with two strikes, and that's game over. <laughs> Javi going to bat left handed for the second time. He is 0 for 1 as a left handed batter. It's legit. And he's got. One in the gap. He is a 500 hitter left handed as he pulls into second with a double. How about that? Bobby said it before the game. We're in first place. I'm having fun. Will he show him that right here? Is Hobby going to hit left? Yeah, right? he is. Yeah, he's done this before. <laughs> if you've ever seen him take BP left handed, he's got a real good looking swing. Well, I've seen him hit in the game left handed, right? I mean, I. Once or twice. In the air out towards left center. And Smith will pull it down. The other day on a 97 mile an hour heater. Up there. That's hammered to left. That one going back. We are tied. How about it? A rocket to left field as if on cue, J.D. gets on that one. And we start over. It's 3-3. Three, three. Well, if Anthony Rizzo did indeed tell Dylan Maples, hey, keep him right there. Baez hits it on the ground to third. Gonzalez. So good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be they kidding me. They stole a run. You have got to be kidding me. Javi Baez. Keep going. Go. Go. Think you're invisible. El Mago indeed. That is unbelievable. That is incredible. What is Will Craig thinking about here? Just take the ball to first base. Backpedal to first base. That is just incredible. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen a first base coach wave a guy down the first base. Who hadn't like gotten there yet. Oh, my. The Calliope crashed to the ground. <laughs> just a comedy of errors on the part of the Pirates here. So here we go. All loaded up. Bottom of the ninth, 5 5.
Garrett ready deals. Dropped in the air, center field. Javi is just staring at that. And that is that. And Baez let Garrett know. Baez tossed the bat. Garrett picked it up. The celebration is on. And the Cubs win it 6-5. One pitch. One pitch. That's all it took. Rizzo has that same condition. Left center field. That one on its way. Out of here. Javi Baez. Touch them all. 3 nothing Cubs. Yeah. Right. Jump for joy. The joint is jumping early. I think he went up there looking breaking ball. Maybe just went up there looking for the baseball. That's normally what he does. If he can reach it, he's going to swing it. Home run number 22 for Javi Baez. And there's early run support for Zach Davies.